Hello everyone, this is Emmanuel with Nerd Caliber, and I'm here with... Alyssa Grants. She's the producer behind Acquisitions Inc. And is there anything else you're also a part of? Uh, yeah, so I'm a, an, a producer and the partnerships manager at um, Penny Arcade. Uh, so we work on a bunch of different projects, um, Ack Inc., a bunch of pin um, projects as well. Uh, and anything else that comes to the studio, I work on as well. And recently they just released a new source book for D&D 5e, Acquisitions Incorporated, based on the popular podcast and live performance series. Uh, tell us about this. Yeah, so, do you want me to hold this? Sure. Okay. Um, so, this book is the first of its kind. It is the very first third-party IP um, official uh, book for um, Wizards of the Coast Dungeons & Dragons. So, what that means is Penny Arcade owns the IP for Acquisitions Incorporated. We've worked closely with Wizards of the Coast for you know, the entire time Acking has been around, so just over 10 years. And uh, and we decided to um, work together to bring Acking into the official world of D&D. So, I like this book a lot. Thank you. I like it because most D&D modules tend to take itself really seriously. There's always a, a big bad monster to fight at the end. Um, you know, it's life and death. But this comes across more like Discworld meets Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> That's a very accurate way to put it. <laughs> so what, what, what brought about the transition from, you know, from the show to the book? Uh, was, did you feel like there was like a demand for more players to play in this world? Yeah, so um, Ack Inc. itself is, um, what, how we put it, is a, a dark office comedy. And so um, we've had a lot of people asking, you know, when can we officially bring this to our own home table? Um, and uh, in, what, in what capacity? And so we realized, you know, that is the exact brand, the dark office comedy, that people really wanted to experience. So, you know, we, we took a lot of inside jokes from Ack Inc. And then a lot of just the general humor as well. So this book really can cater to people who know Ack Inc. and people who don't know Ack Inc. alike. Um, and they can just bring the silliness um, of, you know, building a franchise, you know, excelling your franchise and, and also leveling up your, your own position within the franchise um, to the table. And then, you know, a lot of the, the funny spells that you see during our live games. Um, we have stat blocks for a bunch of the characters that you've come to love. Um, and, and, and Ack Inc. as well. So um, we've had a lot of people asking, you know, when can we play with these and, and, and what, in what way can we play with them? So we put together a bunch of content for it that people can access and uh, we're, we're excited to see what, you know, silly adventures, misadventures happen from this. So I, I like the fact also that as part of the, um, the, the D in the universe, I've uh, noticed this takes place like near Waterdeep, I believe. You know, yep. um, so what what tips would you give? Maybe like either experience or new GMs when they want to venture in this world. Again, it's it's different because it's it's comical. Uh, is there any tips would you give to GMs or, or dungeon masters about about playing this book? Anything they should be aware of? Hmm. Well, so. Um you know, I think I think the purpose of this book is to take as much away from it as as you want. So, you know, you can roll from a table, and that might be all you use from it. But as far as we're concerned, just have fun with it. Have fun with the content. Uh, like you said, don't don't take it too seriously, and uh, also allow for a lot more. I think that this book allows for a lot more collaboration at the table. Um, so. You know, we have the, the franchise, we have all of the positions. Well, the, posi the positions themselves, in a way, allow for people to experience what it is to be like a, a DM. Um, and uh, it takes some of the, the onus off of the DM to track a lot of things. And so, you know, I think just being open to that collaborative spirit from the players and um, generally just have a good time with it. That's all, I think that's really all this comes down to. Is there more um, support online for the with, for the book? Uh, is there more accessories that if anyone wants to to expand, uh, anything like that? Uh, is there anything available? Yeah. So um, all of this is available on D and D Beyond. So you can uh, purchase this piecemeal. You can purchase it as a whole book. Um, you can get also get this at any core hobby stores, obviously. Um, but online, we've also released um, stat blocks for all of the uh, the iconic um, position characters that we've created in the book. Uh, and then also at PAX West, PAX Oz, PAX Unplugged, we have new fun bite-sized content coming out to everyone. So we're also looking forward to that. So one last question. Yeah. What's been your most funniest experience in Acquisition Sync? Or, or, or role-playing in general? What's been your most funniest um, scenario or scene oh. that you've been in? 
in uh, in role playing or in acquisition sync? Hmm, that is a very good question. Um, gosh, uh, honestly, so one of one of my favorite Ack Inc. games was uh, when they created uh, eighteen the dinosaur with the the race. That it was an amazing, an amazing episode. Um, more recently, we have uh, Jeremy Crawford as the DM, and um, his entire Ravnica bit was was just absolutely phenomenal. The characters were perfect. Uh, we had Xavier Woods on, and uh, he got the the crowd chanting "blood" at one point, and it just it felt like a live show. It felt like everyone was there together, and and uh, you know there to experience one one game together, right? Um, but personally, uh, gosh, I've played in, in. I'm trying to remember back to all of the games that I've played, but. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I think that almost all games come down to the tone of acting, you know. Um, so it all it all ends up being you know you're in this high fantasy world, but these silly misadventures happen, and those are the experiences that people come to you know know and love. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Uh, if you have a chance, pick up this book. I probably have not read the adventure portion of the game because I'm willing. I'm wanting to experience the game myself. So, uh, but uh, the, the rules are great. Uh, I, I love the world. I love the, the really fun aspect of the game. I think that's the most important thing. And um, again, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. And uh, stay tuned for more Gen Con 2019 news.